The original Kyukyoku Harikiri Stadium was released on June 28th, which means just under six months have passed before it receives this sequel, Kyukyoku Harikiri Stadium 88. And Taito doesn't have the excuse that ASCII did with their Best Play Pro Yaku re-release. This video is going to go fast. There's absolutely no difference between these two games except player stats. It's got the same season mode complete with battery save. It's got the same home run derby mode. It's got the same idol team made up of female players. Taito didn't even increment their number on the cartridge. All 49 games that Taito released on the Famicom are numbered 1 to 48, and the reason for that discrepancy is right here. One fun thing for me when recording this video, the save game I had on the cartridge was at the end of the season, so I got to play the championship game. When you play a season, you'll increase your team's stats, so this team was built all the way up. That let me use some of the special super pitches. There's nothing you actually do to trigger those, just have a fresh pitcher in with one of the abilities, and when you throw a fastball it might occur. I came pretty close to winning the championship game, but then this error at the bottom of the ninth happened, and they hit a two-run homer and that was it. A highlight of the match for me was when someone ran out into the field and we had a short break. And that's really everything there is to Kyukyoku Harikiri Stadium 88. It's yet another 8-bit baseball game, and even worse, it's just a stat update. I swear by the time I'm done with Family Daily, I'm just going to drop an unhinged rant in one of these baseball games or Mahjong games. It's not like anybody's going to be watching. And the worst part is, we're not even done with baseball games for 1988.